Ladies and boys and girls, in this video I will show you how to edit like Ethereal in After Effects. So this is just a quick tutorial for how to do it. All process files are linked in the description. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. First thing first, create a new comb, width 9020, height 1080, duration 10 seconds, press OK. First using type 2, let me add a test. I need a center. Let me add a new solid layer by right click new solid. Rename it as background, color black. Place it below the test layer. Pre comb this test layer. Check move all attributes to this new layer. Press OK. Double click on this test pre comb. Now, what I'm going to do is select this region of interest icon right here and create a rectangle shape like this. Now go to composition and select crop comb to region of interest. Go back to main comb. Let me create four duplicates of this comb. Press Ctrl plus D or Command plus D to duplicate. Select this rectangle shape tool and create a mask around the letter F. And do the same for each letters. Go to face of presets and add offset. Place the play head over here and set keyframe for shift center to copy this offset. And paste it to the other letter comb. Select all the letter comb and press U on keyboard to open all keyframes. Let me place a playhead at the beginning and adjust the shift center to value like this. After that done, go to effects and presets and add glow. Next, I'm going to add another test. Do the same steps that we done before. Precomb this layer. Select this region of interest. Go to composition and select crop comb to region of interest. Go back to main comb. Create duplicates of this test comb. Select this rectangle shape tool and create a mask on each letter. Add offset. Set keyframe, animate it. Finally, let me pre-comb these letters. Next, let me hide this produce test comb. Set keyframe for opacity, change to zero.
go few frames forward and opacity 100. Now I'm going to cut this sphere test comb in here. Right click time, time reverse layer. Next, let me place this prejudice test comb in here. Go to view, show rulers. Let me place this guideline in here. Open position and place it over here. Set keyframe for position. Go few frames forward, push it to the left. I will also set keyframe for opacity. Easy is the position keyframes. Open graph editor and just a speed graph like this. Next, let me add a new camera by right click new camera. Also add a new null object by right click new null object. Make null layer 3D and add this piquet tail from camera. Add this into null object. Open position in null object. Set keyframe for position here. Go few frames over as the position like this. Easy is both keyframes. Next, select this rectangle shape tool and create a shape like this. Change fill to solid color and stroke to none. Change fill color to red. Make sure the shape layer is below this desk comb. Click on this shape layer, double click on it, go to effects of presets and add deep glow. So this is a third party plugin, I will put a link in the description or you can use glow effect which is inbuilt in After Effects. Now check over here for test. Go back to main comb. Select the rectangle mask tool and create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go a few frames forward as is the mask path like this. Increase mass feather. Let me add a flower image below this is comb. Pre comb this flower image. Make it 3D. Add the scale size. Right click on this image. Transform. Flip horizontal. Go to face of presets and add tint. Change map white to dark red. Let me add a silhouette image.
right click transform flip horizontal at this position of rotation let me decrease the opacity of this image and using paint tool let me create a mask like this Check inverter, change opacity to 100, add drop shadow to the cigarette image. Add the softness, go to the presets and add tint. Now select the ellipse tool, make sure fill is none and stroke is solid color, stroke size 5. Under shape layer under stroke 1 select this plus sign which is near to the dashes and select the plus sign 2 or 3 times. Now you get these total lines. Let me place this circle over here. Select this icon right here and place this anchor point in the middle. Make the shape layer 3D and adjust the Y rotation. Set keyframe for C rotation. Go at the N as the value of C rotation. Let me add the rotation of security image like this. Add this mask. Place a circle like this. After all that done, go back to main comb and in this rose image, set keyframe for C rotation. Go few frames over as the C rotation like this. Now if you want, you can add drop shadow to this flower image and add the softness and opacity. Now using type 2, let me add a test. Make it 3D. Let me go over here and change one view to two view. Active camera to top view. Set the test layer and place it near to the camera. Reduce scale size. Go to your presets, animation presets, test, set up this fade up lines preset, add this into test layer, adjust the keyframes,
create copy of this Dessler, place this over here. Let me change the test. Open null position. Set keyframe for position over here. Go keyframes over and position on top. I will set keyframe for opacity for these two dust layers and flower image. Go keyframes over and opacity zero. Finally, let me add this dust particles video overlay over here. Reduce opacity a little bit. Yeah, and that's it, ladies and boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. Or want to know how to edit like Epta videos, check out this video right here. And if you want to know how to edit like Jack RHY Cider in Premiere Pro, check out this video right here. And thank you for watching.